The purpose of this presentation is to introduce to you stage C of the Hawaii lab and to go over question number one. I'll share my screen and then move to the PowerPoint that I prepared to explain to you stage C task number one. But let me first overview stage C. Stage C covers different aspects of physical geography that involves climate, hydrology, biogeography, landforms, soils, and geology. Soils is the one aspect of physical geography that we're not covering in this lab. Task one focuses on the geology component of the Hawaii, different Hawaii volcanoes. Task two deals with hydrology and landforms looking at glaciers that grew on top of Mauna Kea. Task three delves into climate, dealing with orographic rainfall and rain shadow effects. Task four explores the trade wind inversion. And task five deals with biogeography, in particular, a classic topic of biogeography, which is the establishment of plants on lava flows of different ages. So task one involves you looking at the big picture of the volcano. The questions are provided to you in the PDF file. There's lots of detailed questions. And the first question dealing with task one will be about the stage of the volcano. And the second question will be about the general characteristics of different volcanoes. So the, quest, the first question is, what stage is it in? Is it in a shield stage? Is it between a shield and a post shield? Is it post shield? Is it rejuvenated stages? All this information is provided in the background section for the lab, and I'll try and explain it here. So um, the view on the left shows you different volcanic features of different stages of the Hawaiian volcanoes. The Mauna Kea overall shield volcano that you see in the upper left letter A is in a post shield stage because it has cinder cones scattered on the surface and the lava flows on top are a little bit older. Basically, Mauna Kea looks like it has a whole bunch of pimples on top from the cinder cones. And what you don't get in the Big Island of Hawaii is the rejuvenated stage, such as you find on Oahu with Diamond Head, where it's a last gasp of volcanoes. So really the oldest stuff you get on the Big Island is the post-shield stage of Kohala, and especially Mauna Kea. The images on the right would be different locations, would be the sorts of observations that you would help answer this question. Kilauea, if you pull back from the avatar, is very gentle slopes, very active lava flows, and it's the beginning of a shield volcano. Mauna Loa, where you can, you're can you zoomed out to see the overall volcano, where the avatar is on the edge of the caldera, has lots of rift zones, lots of flow, lava flows coming off the top. It's in a classic, super, very large shield volcano. And Hualalai is actually somewhere in between. It has some characteristics of a post-shield stage with cinder cones up on top, but it still has rift zones and active lava flows. So the shield volcano is where you begin to get massive outpourings of lava, like Mauna Kea and Kilauea. The post-shield stage is where the lava is not so massively outpouring, but you get cinder cones and some thicker lavas that will cap the top of the volcano. And the rejuvenated stage is where the volcano is sunk down into the ocean under the, because the, the, the ocean crust is sinking under the weight of the volcano, and you get some last stage sediments. But the rejuvenated is not found on the big island. So freeze this image, if you need to study it some more, it's also available in the PDF file and in the lab, in the online version of the lab manual. 
that's the end of state. That's the end of question number one. The idea is that you're going to be moving around. You're going to be looking at different lava flow surfaces and comparing the different volcanoes. Hope you have a good time with it and pick the best or the closest answer.